Hey folks, you ever see a herd of cows chasing a butterfly? Welcome to Stranded Alien Dawn, and these guys don't know what they're doing. <laughs> anyway, we've got an Olfen attack going on, and this group is is not chasing uh, humming flies, and this group's saying, hey, wait up. <laughs> I've set all of the missiles to defend this whole area, and we'll just kind of see how that goes. I haven't woke them up yet, the uh, Carter and, and Rita, because it's going to be you know, three days for them to get into range. Here we go. So we'll see what the defense system can do against these guys before we get all excited. Yeah, they're... So far, they're tracking perfectly. Some of them are going to veer, but maybe the missiles will keep them from spending too much time in these walls if we do this preemptively. Interesting. Yeah. So what are the other ones doing before I get too excited? One came down here. Everybody else is doing their things over there. Okay. So I guess it would be wise to put a Carter in this one and a Rita in this one just because otherwise let's just watch these guys continue to work their way around into the traps now they're all just kind of stuck right here Pankoffs are already moving in for their, their nightly feast and that one says I'm out of here uh -uh. oh oh wait wait there's there's it's bad over here too okay yeah, they're, they're pretty much doing their thing. Vultures are, are flying over the top and, and getting ready. Uh, another couple are going to drop into here. Yeah, here's one. Boom, knocked him out of the way. Yeah, is he going to turn and leave? He is. So once they get hit once over here, it, going against the fence, I've, I've noticed that usually is what it takes to get them moving again. Will you get... You might be too small and too low to trigger anything. I think you are. Okay, what happened over here? You're down. Okay. Right? Dead. Rita. Come on up here. Clean this one up. Carter, you go do what you need to do. This one's very slowly moving away. Let's kick this back up into two speed. and There we go. Okay. I think that one is pretty much over. In fact, Rita, you can just go on home. Yeah, I think we're... Well, okay, Rita, go ahead and just uh, uh, put him out of his misery. One left? Yeah, he's the last one. Okay, so we are back. Is this going to be the final episode? I don't know. Will I say that for the next five episodes? I don't know. <laughs> so, we're done back here. Yeah, Rita's handling traps on her own. Good. Not much happened trap-wise. And you are handling fermentation barrel. Um, sure. Let's relieve the uh, the stress in the in the kitchen. We've got more grain that needs to come in anyway, right? Yeah. So that should help out. Carter's transporting. He's doing his uh, uh, farming thing. He's scavenging. Really? How about you load up? Let's see. I don't know how much ore is left in here. Not enough resources. Okay. Let's do a round of... Uh, from scrap. Okay, you and smelt from scrap forever and send you to the top okay so Carter is that the best way to use you um now we've not gotten word from a spaceship for a while we did have a recent attack that's a normal scheduled attack and we just got this random thing here which usually happens right before we get a message huh I kind of like the idea of sending them both off to go to a tachyon source just for the fun of having the base completely abandoned for a while and see what happens. Might be kind of a boring day, but 
I don't know. I might just do that if we can line things up properly. Um, scrap metal alloy from ore from scrap limit reached. Okay. So, limit reach from scrap. Let's toss in a few more hundreds. Okay. Carter. Let's try this a third time. There we go. Do that one. Do that to all of these. And by then... By then, Rita will be done doing the barrels. Which will open up some more space for you, Carter. To get some food for starters. Where am I? Uh, here. So grab a bread. And then go and haul in the rest of the grain. Okay. No other foods, just kind of laying around out there except for some berries. Rot it away. Let's grab these berries too. Okay. So that's you for the day. Rita needs to get something to eat, then she may drop back into the rest of these on her own. She may go and do these guys on her own, since it's now calling for something that we have. Okay, there, that's what I've been waiting for. Rita, why don't you come and see what's going on? Contact spaceship. Still heat wave out there. Just noticing it's it's still kind of blurry all around. All right, Rita, what you gonna find? We've got a rescue offer. Um, yep, let's do it. So that's coming in. We have 24 hours to deal with it. It's 14 hours to make this trip. Let's do it. I think so, just for fun. So, Rita, no, this one. You are going to a tachyon source. You're going to this one. Rita. Send expedition. This one, Carter, you're going to that one. Let's just see what it's like to have nobody at your base. What happens when we're gone? What's going to happen when we're gone for real? Maybe that's one way to look at it. Just out of... I'm not running. <laughs> just for fun. Okay, Rita. Draft, undraft. Go grab some foods. Carter grabs something out of the stove. Rescue pod available. There it is. Okay. And they are taking off. And he's eating food while, while he is flying away. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Okay. So, speed three. Now, the base is empty. This is what it would be like after Carter leaves. They'll be back in plenty of time for Rita to use this escape pod. Animals are bouncing around back and forth. Yeah, we need to probably open this gate up and probably turn off their sleeping spots. Or is there a way to release them? I don't know. Uh, can't be trained. Slaughter. That's about the only release I see is a slaughter. Let's go over here. Tamed animals, slaughter, heal, train pet. There's no sense of a release. Or turn back to wild again, or let them go, or anything like that. So, best we're going to be able to do is just make sure these these food bins are full, and open the gate, and let them, let them out. The gate only opens to their pen, so it doesn't open up to the rest of the base. Which I think is a good policy. Well, I'm glad I did that. Alright, so we should be getting a notice here real soon that they've made it. That was 1,500. So yeah, any, any time now. There it is. So, Tachyon Source complete. I found the remains of an ancient alien replicator. It seems it was used for the generation of various items. System only enough power to do one operation. 50 emergency rations, 25 first aid kits, 200 synthetics. Replicate one random weapon. Dismantle and study the replicator. Research 3D printers. Okay. We don't really have need for any of those right now. So, I'd say we'll just take back the parts. Don't need a weapon. Well, one random weapon. We might be able to get a Railgun 2.0. It's, it's a long shot, but sure. We'll go that route. 
and we should get the other one popping in. All right, found an experimental brainwashing machine. Okay. The scientific log shows that it was expected to kickstart intelligence in non-sapient life forms, but yielded unpredictable results. The system seems operational, but its power source is only enough for one use. So, number one, I use it. 75% chance of becoming obtuse. These options are not available, or I dismantle it. Okay. She's not a genius, and she's not obtuse, so it's not going to reverse those. This one just has a bad outcome. So dismantle the machine and bring back the parts. Okay. So that has us coming back with a... I think that's another Pulse Rifle 2.0. And coming back with two... CPUs, 25 alloy, and 10 electronics. Okay, well, that's what happened. No attacks have hit here. The only real activity are the, uh, are the birds. And there's actually no birds right now. If they are, they're buried underneath or they're stuffed. Yeah, they're, they're probably quite full. We are running, right? Yeah. So we've got 11 hours left on the skate pod. And morning's coming up. Anything for Carter to be working on? Any more blueprints to set? I don't think so. Power-wise, we're still... Well, we're a little low from overnight. We really are. We're not running. We're out of fuel. Okay, so we gotta get these guys fueled. Yeah, really. We're, we're hurting on fuel. So Carter's appreciating a shroom torch. That means he's in pretty rough shape. Well, he is in that regard. Okay. So you... 7 in the morning. Yeah, let's see if we can go without rest for a while. Rita's petting an elephant. and she's going to go say goodbye to... Say goodbye to the critters. And then let's have her... Um, refuel the stove. That, one, that stove won't work right now. Uh, grain porridge, but I guess it's a, well, this is a Carter. Carter. Okay, Rita. There we go. Can you, when you're done, make bread and make buttermelon pie? That will be your parting gift for Carter. Carter is going to refuel your stove <laughs> accidentally. He's going to go do it right now. Okay. So you got that going, and you are scavenging. Let's have you relax. Sit and relax and play some music. And turn that speed back down a little bit. <clears throat> Rita's leaving in five hours or less. So that is now well, midnight. No, we're not 20, 100, we're 10, 100. So two or three in the afternoon. Carter's playing, Rita's cooking. She could probably leave just as soon as she puts these two in the oven. She only has to go half a bar each one. And I'd say that's probably sufficient. Yeah. Carter's playing the didgeridoo. He's in good shape there. He could use some sleep. It is only noon. Why don't you sleep for like two hours, Carter? So, sleep while Rita's making your... Uh, your buttermelon pie to, to take you home. The place held up just fine on its own. Uh, Carter's still got... No, it's just the one little thing of berries there and there to haul in. Okay. So she is finished. Okay. So this leaves in two hours. Carter, why don't you draft and come on out. And Rita, you're heading which way? You can go ahead and... Oh, fermentation barrel. You're, you're filling these up, getting some wine. Okay. Yeah. So, Rita, it's time for you to board. Say a quick farewell. Rita, uh, Carter's going to give you a, a, a one-gun salute. A one-pulse rifle salute. Yeah. Rita, let's have you drop that and drop that first thank you and risk of meltdown Rita well you've got a, a long trip back to relax so you'll be fine there you go and Rita is gone
herder, you're on your own. And you want to go scavenge. Let's equip the railgun sniper. Put that away, then come back and... Actually, it's no worse than the one you've got. Um, put this away. And when you're done with that, do we have any brand new spears? We do not. About to rot away. Yep, those are fine. And did rot away. <laughs> Bunch of berries up there still. So Carter, when you're done, how are you doing besides sleep? Your happiness is not too great. Your fullness is not too great. Let's get you some bread. Right there. And then let's have you bring in some more of these and the last of... Oh, these rotted away out here. That's what they were. Okay. Then we've got over 200 alloys, so we don't really need to deal with that. Okay. Is there anything else to do? Any repairs to make? No. No. Over here? Yeah, let's get those repaired. What is that? Oh, that's a gate. Okay, so... All of them? There we go. So none of you guys. I uh, need a repair over there. So let's check over here while we're at it. Now, how's the brickwork doing? Uh, malfunction antenna. Okay. So no repairs there. Mm, got a repair or two in there. And you guys? Yeah, I've got some repairs to do over there. So we got stuff for Carter to be up to. Nothing there. And there was a... Right there. The gates are all fine. Okay, how about these guys? We haven't checked these in a long time. They're fine. Alright, um... I'm just gonna check around for a while. We have repairs to do on some of those. You're fine. Those are okay. What else? Wood? Yep, we've taken some damage on one of those. Okay. Alright, so that's all the Carter stuff to do. So what was that? First of all, he needs to get this going or he's not going home. So he's getting drunk. Um, yeah. Um, fine. You're, you're practically done anyway. And you are playing the didgeridoo and then you're going to sleep. Yeah, you're just, you're going to bed. Okay, then after that, tomorrow morning, you're going to repair this guy. I think so. Where are we, about 15, 20 minutes into this? Okay. So, well, odds are pretty good that Carter's going home at the end of this episode. We'll just have to wait and see. Well, Carter is still sound asleep. Dawn has happened. We are toward the end of summer already. I really didn't think we were going to get this far into the year. Um, so, Carter's got to get that one done. He should probably get in here and top off these. So, Carter, make sure these... Not enough resources. Oh. Okay. Then... That would be these guys, and we have... Oh, I wonder if the heat decayed them. Hmm. Didn't think about that. They're under a roof, but they were still outside. Okay. Well, we can then set this up to take other things. So, herbivores, we can give them berries. I wish you would tell me how many we have in stock here. Otherwise, i got to spend time going both directions. But bush fruits is 2,000. Buttermelons are 1,700. So buttermelons and bush fruit. We'll just set them to both of those. Buttermelons and bush fruit. And same thing here. So, okay, you're doing that. And then Carter is going to... Why can't I right-click on that? Not enough resources. Something happened there? Buttermelon and hay. Is it... Full? Oh, gotta wait until some of these bays go away because there's only room for hay right now. 
Okay. That's it. All right. Um, okay, so with that, you then need to... Oh, these are done. Okay. So active circuit one and active circuit two. Okay. Then we can set... Can I double click and get all the lights and turn them all onto one? Oh, I can. I miss any? 13. Change all of those to one. Okay. So those are going to go to one. What else is power here? So lighting. These are not power. These are not turned on. The air conditioning. So three air conditioners can all go to circuit two. This guy is going to run on two. Okay. So Carter, when you're done, switch this guy to two. Uh, handle power switch. Now Carter's handle... is a three. Let's set that to one and just see where he goes from here. Then we'll get him out to start doing repairs. So with that you're going to handle this guy and then you're going to handle all the ceiling lights. So we're going to get everything set on to the proper circuits. So what else is in here that is power that really should be turned off when we leave? You can be your control circuit four Okay, so you guys are going to turn... Let's set you to 2. And you to 2. These are all the things that would turn off when an attack would happen. But... Hmm. You can be circuit 2. Okay. These guys would turn off when an attack comes in, but I'd like to turn them off when we're done for good. So I guess they can be switched over to circuit one or two when the rescue pod is on its way in. Okay, that makes sense. So what else out here is a power user that should be turned off when we leave? I'm not really seeing anything else. These are all manual benches. The stoves are, are, you know, fire. They're not electricity. We didn't have a very big uh, electrical footprint in this game. We may do with uh, pretty low-tech stuff. We're so fire-powered uh, furnaces. That's kind of it. Besides the uh, uh, the security or the the defense system, which would need to remain active just to protect the base. But yeah, I think that's about it. Okay. So when that happens, and you are handling all the last of the things, so what do you handle after this is done? You're going to handle a shroom torch. <laughs> no, those, those don't count. Um, Carter, when you're done, why don't you handle that one? All right, so you're getting the last of those switches done. You're gonna handle these guys, ceiling lamp. You got this guy to do. So everything's gonna be on the right circuits when this happens. Right there, now let's just, you're already here. So let's do this. Okay, and let's plant, turn. Oh, that's for planting, okay. Let's turn it off. It's not needed anymore. And then, yeah, I guess the next thing it really is to uh, refuel. Fermentation barrel. That's interesting. You're going... Oh, it was ready to go, apparently. Okay, well, you're. I guess you're right here. Go ahead and whatever whatever's going in there, get it done. But then I need you to put fuel in these guys. Good. You're doing it on your own. Let's see if... Since you did it on your own, let's see if you can do all of them at once. Rather than bring ten for each one. Be curious to see how that works. Seems like I've seen them grab enough to do a balloon and then stop off at the generators after. So let's see if that's real. Nope, it's not. One at a time. Okay. 61 to 40. Yep, 20, 20 gallons per. But those will get... Oh, we're really low on power. We really are. Okay. Well, run you through the night. Yeah, handle has been off on both of us for quite some time. 
And I don't need to refuel these guys, but ah, we may have to make a, a quick escape by hot air balloon. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> so Carter's handling tasks have kept him busy. Now he's going to get something to eat. And he's going for the very closest meal, which is dried meat. That's fine. When your rest goes up and your, and your fullness goes up, your happiness is going to max out. Okay. So eat and go to sleep. And then we will turn your handle back down um, to a respectable three. So you can get to construction next. About to rot away and did rot away. You're going to sleep. We still cannot refuel these guys yet. Refill them yet. We may have to empty them and refill them it comes down to that or there's just going to be you know 5 10 and 15 and and still em basically empty okay so another night is going by and we've got an attack coming in we got a thunderstorm hopefully rolling in a lot of thunder where's that attack from all the way out here Okay, well, the defenses can handle this just fine. But let's, uh, hopefully it's a thunderstorm and not rain. I want to fill up these batteries big time. And I don't want to have to turn the uh, antennas off in order to do that. All right, so let's speed you guys up a bit. Oh, it's just rain. Darn. Ah, uh, pregnant animals. Two of them. Okay, wow. Wow. I saw that. You're saying I, I saw that too. I'm not going anywhere near that. <laughs> that laser snagged him in the head and followed him all the way in and left it. I don't know, that was, that was kind of grizzly. Look at that. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Down. Okay, well that's done. And malfunction trap. That's interesting. I haven't had that happen before. Boy, we could certainly be spammed with that now. We've got a, a few traps to choose from. Hmm. So these lights are still working, right? We flipped the switches, but we didn't flip it to an off circuit or anything weird like that. Okay. We're still making cold. We're 13 in here. We are 13 in here. And we are 44 indoors. So cold at night. 45. Okay. Well, let's turn... I guess we can turn this guy back on and start. And... Yeah. This guy as well. Don't know that we need to do that one. Let's just do these two. Start fire. And refuel. No, that's not a refuel. That's saying don't refuel it. Okay. So you're turned off, waiting to be ignited. Okay. So Carter, you are petting an open. You're saying your final goodbyes, maybe. Anticipating that... This is going to happen soon. Otherwise, Carter, you, you know, your happiness is not that great, but it's going up with the relaxation. That's helpful. Um, let's... I wonder if you will drop into... Now you're visiting a Draka. Why don't you come and sit down in a, your favorite chair? That way you can get your, your rating up a lot higher than just another plus ten. All right, that's going to go up. This guy should jump up quite a bit after that. And repairing a solar panel. Yeah, let's get this power. Keep this power. You know, I'm not getting any messages about solar panels going out. I didn't last time either. That surprised me then and surprised me now. All right, so you are repairing a fortification. It's a, it's a repair day. Good. And still three piles and three piles. So we got to wait before we can feed them. Uh, fuel is being made. We're finishing up. Uh, fuel is here. Still over 700. Good. Wow. Malfunction air conditioner. Okay. Repairing floor. That is this guy. Alright, that's fine. We're still 14 degrees in there. And we still got 165 alloy. Repairing these guys. Still finding repair items or materials just laying around. Repairing the traps, so that's scrap metal. Okay. 
And insufficient storage has been sitting around for a while. That's foods. Okay, so we didn't go to get this because we weren't able to. Heat wave is over, and this stuff is rotted. Okay, so do not you in fact, just throw you away? I guess so. Okay. So, grabbing some bread. Are we at the end of another day? Wow. Oh, I'm on three speed. How'd that happen? I meant to go to two speed. So you are now visiting. Too bad you can't feed. Tell you what, let's turn feed off on this one, or hay off. And let's say keep empty? No. Let's say Carter store undesired items over in this other one. So can you grab, okay, and let's do that again. Store undesired items. And now let's fill this one up. Bring food. Tell me you'll grab all of it. There, think about it, think real carefully. 180, is that all? And yeah, we'll see. Uh, pretty much, and now I need you to bring food and fill this one up. And that means berries from the fridge. Okay. So, do I have Carter plant any more hay? Do we have... We got the hay originally from grasses. And grasses were a big pile of them over here, and that was it. Everything else around here are bushes. So best we could do what's already growing is this out over here. And we could do that. I mean, we could set a, a section of it here and just say cut. Uh, 24. We could do that. Carter, your repairs going to sleep. So we got enough to fill that one and enough to fill that one. Okay. So you're going to sleep. You need some relaxation. So when you're up, you're going to do that and you're going to do that. And you're going to get the last of the repairs done. So they didn't do any damage out here. Now, this could be repaired. And you guys are finishing up the last of them. The Ulfin are all gone? They are. Of course, that was during the heat wave still. So that probably sped that up a bit. Otherwise, there's still some uh, building materials out there. We've got quite a bit over here. That's this guy running. We are... I don't know. We have fuel. I don't get the sense we're making anything. No, we're not. That's just making a lot of noise for not being used. Huh. Okay. I think it got stuck on. Um... Middle of the night. Speed this up a bit. Okay, there we go. Now, what is this? This is a railgun sniper. So, your equipment is like what right now? You just need a better spear, and we really don't have one. You probably want to here with Rita's spear, or here? Right there, and this is it's in the same condition. Let's go ahead and just wake up one more. I don't know what I assigned you to do. You're... You're going to get some relaxation in. Okay. So, Carter, go ahead and put that hull. Yeah, put that away. Oh, and you do have one. No, you don't. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Now i got to wait. Or I'll cancel your other orders. Okay, you're going to do that. And then I want you to equip it. Time you had a real gun. Yeah, 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 that's enough. <laughs> we got stuff to do here. Alright, so let's get the last of these guys repaired. Already reserved. Okay. Already doing it. So you're doing those. We're running at two speed. Um, we could get out here and handle these traps. 
Otherwise, everything around here is looking pretty good. Could have you repair this one. And there's brick over there, so that won't be too much to repair that one. Okay. That is the end of the repairs. It really is. There's some bushes to harvest, but... Is there, I wish there was an easier way of knowing. Well, there's 700 there, berries. 100, 300, okay, so there's over a thousand berries inside, okay, so you are somewhere else about to rot away, yeah, okay, so we could get this grass harvested, it's a long walk though, it really is, it's not truly necessary, just something to do. Um, you do need to get these guys going though. So when you're done with all those, grab another bread. And then go ahead and handle two fireplaces and get this guy turned off. Uh, turn off. And that pretty much takes care of another day, doesn't it? Yeah, there's only so much one person can get done in a, in a day. So Carter's eating. It's going to take care of this little stuff. So we're at 1,400 hours. These guys are still running. We're still waiting for another notification from an overhead spacecraft. Um, why will this not turn off? Hydroponic rack. Plant. Maybe that's what I need to do. Is tell it to, to stop waiting for its, its planting to be done. Okay. So Carter. You are... Let's fill this up on your way. You're doing what? You are repairing. You're going to go grab some logs out there. I see. You must have preloaded that. Is that what I'm getting? There it is. So 101 already there. Okay. Now you're going to go cut. All right. Yep. I guess you feel that uh, there's nothing else super important to do. How's the fuel on the generators looking before you get too far away? We still at least half? No, we are empty. Almost. Yeah, we got to get this going first. I need to get these guys maxed out. So let's refuel instead. Uh, Carter. Refuel. So what happened there? Ah, that's what it was. Okay. So Carter, you're going to refuel, and then you're going to refuel, and then you're going to refuel and refuel. Ah, uh, something got mixed. Er, on the way, on the way. Malfunction ceiling lamp. Okay. So let's make sure you get all... Well, now you can do all of them at once. So what's the difference? How come you did that one and that one? Huh. So, are we good? We're good. So this time you could do multiples. How come you couldn't before? I don't get it. But, 1800. How's your sleep? You're fine. Let's send you out to get this done anyway. So next is this. Okay. We're out there and just you know, crash through that. That's a, a physical skill, right? Cutting? I'm pretty sure it is. Where are we going? Going over here. Of course, there's always a danger between you and home is where the next uh, aggressive animals are going to spawn. Yeah, there is that. Um, cutting. So I've got to go to here to see it. Activities. Cut is a physical. Your physical eight. So you will go through that faster than anybody else could have, of our group. And it will build your physical up even more. So a good activity if you want to train up their physical. I'm going to go out and cut through. No, no, no. Cut. Cut ten of these things. You made a long trip out here. Don't you think you're going to bring back 30 and call it a day? I don't think so. All right. Haul hay. 
there's 200. Nope, you're going to do your 10. <laughs> you make me go out here and cut this. I'm not, I'm going to get, my, I'm going to do the whole thing. Okay. How much can you haul? 180 is your limit. Okay. Transporting that to the porch. Then you're going to go to bed. No, then you're, yep, you're going to go there. Okay. Three... Those items rotted away. Aggressive Animals 104. And you're up in here this time. Okay. So, yeah, you're close enough. I was going to say skip it and just go to bed. But, Carter, you need to eat. So, next is food. Then, rest if there's any time left. So what time was that? Midnight? So probably by the 5 o'clock hour? 6 o'clock? <clears throat> yeah, right about now. Carter, how far did you make it? I don't see you over there. Dude! <laughs> okay, you're gonna fight these guys on an empty stomach, boy. Tell ya, gotta watch them. I told him to haul, and he apparently didn't do my hauling job. He did his own hauling job when he finished. Then he's still gonna haul after that. Okay, so draft and come on out here and defend these guys should they make it this far. All right, so again, you guys are coming out of here, coming down into there. So let's get our missiles to uh, help us out, though they're not gonna be triggered for quite a while. You are going here and here, in case they go this way. Uh, you, how far out can I go? Let's get into here and let's see if I can hit him right there. Let's get into here. We'll see how that works. Though, where's the closest sensor? It was you, right? And we also did this guy. Okay, so we're not going to trigger until we get into there. Turn on, turn off. Okay, we're not using that sensor. Huh. You're turning. Okay, so it's definitely you. I thought there was a middle of the sensor. There you are. Okay, so that's a little better. Where are they at? Here they come. So what do we have? We have 104 Shrieker Hatchlings. Wow. Now I'm kind of thinking maybe the Pulse Rifle would have been better for him. These guys can do the Railgun Sniping. He could have just held them in place. It's just that he... We almost, we almost need to store something out here. Oh, I'd never thought about that. Let's move this cabinet. Yeah. Let's move this cabinet to here. Right there. He can swap weapons that way, mid-battle. Never even thought about that. Okay, now these guys are going to start flinging itty bitty little little uh, projectiles. Hit the traps. They probably don't have the range or the strength of the big mama shriekers. Wow, what a mess. What a mess. Do that. Let's look at this from Carter's point of view. Yeah, what's his one gun? One single bullet at a time going to do here. Yeah, the stun gun would have been much better. The pulse rifle. And that is the furthest we have ever gotten. Wow. Let's look at this from the flamethrower's point of view. These are the kind of attacks I was expecting long ago. Okay, malfunction trap. Yep. <laughs> uh, 
All right, we're making it. We're getting closer. Nobody's flinging any darts yet. Whoa, went right past and ignored these guys. Your radius is here. But maybe you got to be here to trigger it. Well, let's get a few more through. There. Look at that. There's a first for us. Now you are going to start flinging at Carter. Who is where right now? He's over here. You are trying to hit the laser. Yeah. Yep. Nope. Okay, anything else happen around? I didn't even look. Nope. Okay. Wow. That was a battle. Six left. Handcuffs are already lining up. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't want that one. I wanted that one. Carter. So, undraft you. Turn these all back on. And... Carter is in bad shape, so he'll have to come back to do all of these. But boy, we have tripped the vast majority of them that time. That was the first, first real battle. That was exciting. Okay, you go get something really good to eat, and you go to bed. Well, boy, that's that's a hard call. You sit down, and then you get out here and reset these traps. These traps. And these traps. Enough to hold some Olfen in place while the guns do their things while you're sleeping. Okay. Now we'll see if you're going to do what I asked or you're going to say, uh-uh, I'm, I'm overriding that. I'm going to bed. What you going to do? You're going to sit. About to rot away. Yep. Lots of stuff. It's probably this stuff here. Okay, sitting's done. You're going to handle traps. Good. So you handle all those traps and then you get some sleep. That brought your happiness up enough to keep you going. Okay. Just kind of ration our carter. Wherever. As thin as we can. Yeah, that was, that was an amazing battle. <laughs> the first real test of our defense system. All right, setting those. You can deal with the malfunctioning one later. Um, you take any damage? <clears throat> you did not. Neither did you guys. The walls did not. Nothing else took any damage. Good. Good to see. And you are visiting a Draka. No, nope, you are getting some sleep. You are... Uh, 1400 or could I you know maybe we can have him skip a day of sleep if we get all his other bars up let's do that Carter let's milk this little area right here and get the rest of these traps done those those and get into here this is really important to uh, you know to, to keep you alive so let's set all these in. That's all you're going to do for quite some time. Yep, that's important. So they stopped here, but look how close they were to getting in. That's why I had not planned originally on putting stairs. Another extreme heat wave at the very end of summer. Interesting. Well, Carter's fine with that. And this mess is going to clean us up, up even faster as a result. Ooh, deep rumbling noise of, I don't know, <laughs> the ground warming up and shifting or something. You know, an earthquake rumble. <clears throat> okay, so let's keep an eye on Carter's happiness. Though I would think a sense of desperation would set in and he'd be able to handle being 
a little unhappy by doing something that's going to keep you alive. So let's handle that trap too. And then we'll get into any that we missed in here. We'll ignore that guy. Get out into there. And into there. And anything left? One left. Okay. After that, Carter, he's still doing decent. His fullness is fine, so he needs to relax after this by doing something that's going to give him as many points as possible. Those two malfunction wind turbine. Oh. Yeah, well, power's not doing that bad. So tomorrow will be the wind turbine and refueling generators one more time. Oh, and then this guy's got to go too. Yeah, so many things. So few people to do the job. Okay, well, he made it through another significant attack all by himself. We need to swap him out with that, uh, that pulse rifle. But he can do that on the fly out there once that's moved. All right, so you're going to do that. These are rotting away. And where am I at? Coming up on an hour. We'll see what happens this day. This next day. See if we get a rescue pod coming in. Otherwise, oh, sleeping. He, oh, there, where are we? Carter. He collapsed. <laughs> yeah, fainted too tired. So apparently, if this hits zero, it has nothing to do with this bar. If it hits zero, you're out. Can I move you? Fainted. Someone else could have moved him. Okay, lesson learned. They do have to sleep. So you're not going to get your positives for sleeping on a comfortable bed. Okay, so Carter, let's just go straight to there. Perfect. Rotted poo away, which is all of our poo in here most likely. Which means... Yeah, so this stuff's sitting on the porch is going to rot, isn't it? 83% already. Okay. So, under a roof is indefinite, but apparently is not indefinite. Alright, 5 in the morning. His rest is almost there. He needs to fill up on something. We have a buttermelon pie left. Anything in the ovens? Never thought about that. Um, I don't know how to check it from there because that's just telling you what's going to cook next. But from here, there it is. Eat buttermelon pie. So, why don't you dive into that right now? And then, can I have you haul? I cannot. Anything to haul here? Boil, drink tea. So, there's tea that's been made in that one. But I can't get you to put them away. I can say stored undesired items. Ah. I can't. Being moved. Okay. You have to wait till you're not eating it. Okay, now I can do that. Uh, speed 2. Malfunction orbital radio. Okay, well that trumps everything. We gotta get this guy rebuilt. And what do you need? Some ungodly amount? Well, 23. Okay. <laughs> 217. Okay, let's get this guy rebuilt immediately. Repair. And why does it say handle? Handle ceiling lamp. Ah, okay. <clears throat> so you do that. And then when you're done, let's... Nope, nothing to haul there. But we can do that next. Okay. I don't know if the food rots in the stove because it's not sitting in the freezer. It's sitting in a... You know, well, it's only 75 indoors. 79? We're into autumn now. I wonder if that negates the, the heat wave. Only 81 for 10 in the morning. It's not all that hot. So, anyway, one, 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 one. Yeah, he's, he's, he's using 
binary to recode the radio. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so once you do that, are we going to get a message? That's what I want to know. Up and running again. Transporting tea. Do you need to drink some tea? Carter. You just need relaxation. So sit in a chair. And... What? Appreciate a shroom torch one more time. And after that, you need to get a day's work in. So repair this guy. And... What? Why are you lit up? Do not cut. And do not cut. Okay. Otherwise, um... Do we want you to top these guys off or not? Are these rotting? They're rotting. Interesting. Food's gonna rot in the tray. Okay. So that's not the best way to do that. Okay. Well, the heat wave's a problem. And I guess I need to set this to do not harvest. Okay, all of these are about to rot away. Rotted away. I think that was sitting out here. Yeah, the buttermelon that was outside. Surprise, this stuff is still here. It's attack of 17. And you're over here again. Okay. So let's... We'll set Carter to... Well... I don't know. You're repairing a trap. That's fine. Let's just set missiles for now. You are going to go... They're over here. Let's set you like so. And we'll let the missiles do the brunt of the work. I've seen several times, once they're hit with a missile, if it doesn't knock them on their butts, They'll get up and start running around the corner to try to go in a different way. I, you know, that was smart. But do I go over there? In case they go that way. Okay. So Carter, you are repairing a trap. You gotta get materials. Okay. Um, what to have you do? What is more important? Gotta keep you inside the compound. Generators. Let's make sure these guys are going. So let's refuel, refuel. All right, you take care of all that. All these guys are thinking their life over. Let's go back to two speed. Wow, they're taking their time. They really are. Three speed. There we go. They're still really taking their time. Two speed is the most it'll let me do because we're under attack. Ah, I see. So, repairing a trap. You still want to try and do that. So, I gotta get you something else to do. Let's get some more alloys going. Carter, let's do that. So, your fullness is fine for a little while. So, let's do seven rounds of this real quick. And a link furnace. Great. Missiles are coming in, they're changing their mind, saying, oh boy, I want nothing to do with that. Yeah, send them back into there. You changed your mind, but we'll, we'll re-influence you. Yeah. Boom. Hey, you're doing some damage over here. Do I need a carter? So you guys are going after these guys, I'm pretty sure. So let's get that one. Is it the fourth one? Yeah. No. That one. There you are. Let's get you to assist in here. Okay. Changed his mind. Not actually doing a lot of damage to the fences. Still in the 900s all the way around. And these missiles are not hurting them. 
Okay, so that did change the mind of most of these guys. You too? Yep. Okay, we're good. So Carter's handling furnaces. He can pretty much do what he wants now. So Carter... I can't see what I'm doing! It's dark out. Okay. First time I've seen that notice. Alright, you're gonna do that, and then you're gonna do what you want. You wanna go drink. I'm not gonna stop you. Could hunt this one, but uh, he won't last long in the heat wave. He'll be he'll be gone. Okay, so these are rotting. Can they still eat them? I don't know. So 90, 80, 40. We'll see what happens first in the first thing in the morning. If they still exist. Something to eat. And off to bed. You are off to bed. Okay. Yep, with that, we'll call this one done. And apparently we have at least one more episode in this series. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.